Hello everyone, Randy here again. We're playing Farming Simulator 15 on Oklahoma. And we are continuing to plant some oats here on Field 3. We got uh, Field 2 is all finished. Moving on to Field 3 here. And I also have all three of our trucks selling rye at the moment. Rye is obviously a pretty good price. I think he showed you that last episode there. So we got all three trucks. Uh, I did buy one more dolly trailer for the third truck so we got three dolly trailers so all three trucks are the same back there you can see the uh, Kenworth that's the K100 heading out and we also got uh, the W900 and the Peterbilt going as well so basically 210,000 rye at a time hopefully we can sell it all before the hour is up I think we should be able to at least get real close anyway so hopefully the price doesn't tank too much and we can get our uh, maximum value out of it. And then, yeah, once the rye is sold, we have... I think it's the barley needs to be sold. We did finish harvesting on fields 4 and 5. Both of those fields are done. And my thoughts, folks, we're going to wait and see how much money we get from uh, selling the rye and the barley. Uh, if we do not get enough to buy field 6, then we're going to go buy maybe 4 and 5 down there. Or at least 4 or 5, one of the two. Hopefully buy at least one field here. Yes, yes, I know I don't own that field. And I will have to agree with some of you folks. This tractor, at least in my opinion, does look pretty good on this particular planter. The uh, Great Plains Seed Drill. Uh, speaking of planters, I do want to pick up another planter, a uh, row crop corn planter. Uh, we don't have that currently. Uh, this planter, I think, actually does plant corn if you wanted to. to. Again, technically not very realistic doing so, but uh, it could if you wanted it to. Oh, looks like we got one truck selling uh, rye at the moment. Yes, you can tell the money's going up. Uh, like I said, we got a pretty good price on rye at the moment. Uh, barley was a pretty good price as well. In fact, I didn't even look how much do we have. Uh, sale running for a New Holland T7 250 AC, which is five. Whoa, wow. A whopping 5% off. Eh, we might have to check that. I think that actually is a pretty good tractor. Oh, bummer. The price of barley is on its way down. That's not good. Uh, currently at eight thirty-eight. That's still a pretty good price for barley, though. Uh, wheat is still heading back down again. Oh, come on now. It needs to go up. We got lots of wheat to be sold yet. Uh, oh yeah, we should be able to sell all the wheat before the hour's up, I think. Uh, I started like a couple minutes before the hour, so we got a load on its way. So we should have no problem, like I say, 1039 So very good price on rye, in my opinion. And I think that was it. I don't think we had anything else. Obviously, we'll have some oats here, which are pretty good price as well. So yeah, once we get the rye sold, uh, we might, yeah, we probably should wait till uh, eighteen hundred, and then we'll finish selling the barley again, just so we can sell it all within at least hopefully a one-hour time period before the price tanks again. Because, yeah, folks, I'm sure once it rolls over to 1800 the price of rye is going to go way down, I'm sure. And like I said before, folks, that's something I, uh, let's put it this way, 100% disagree with. I think they should change that uh, mechanic so that it is per location. So let's say I go sell all my rye to the co-op there. The price at the co-op goes down, but the price everywhere else stays the same or maybe it goes down a little bit. But I don't think the price at all the places should tank. They should, uh, you know, maybe stay stay right where they are. Maybe drop down a little bit. That way you have an incentive to uh, take it to other places. Uh, as of right now, I've sold everything I have at the co-op. Uh, the co-op pretty much has the best price. Or it's at least close enough that I don't feel like recording a course play course to go to another place. So like wheat. Uh, wheat is actually at best at the co-op. Uh, canola would be better at the farm shop, but yeah, we're not planting any canola at the moment. Oh yeah, uh, corn here would probably be a pretty good example. Uh, you know, 377 versus 364. 
not worth it to me to uh, make a course that would go from or go to the farm shop for that. Now, yeah, for obviously for potatoes here for four seventy seven two sixty two, yeah, that'd be worth it definitely. Same thing with sugar beets, but yeah, just or here's another example: sorghum twelve seventy nine twelve sixty two. I'm just gonna take it to the uh, co-op there because I have a course play course that goes there for the uh, couple of bucks we're gonna make off of it. I'm not gonna waste my time getting another course play course. At least not yet, anyway. And yeah, so far the three trucks have not crashed into each other. A little worried about that. I was kind of riding along with the one there, watching the course play course. I was like, ooh, I did not do the greatest job at this course play course. So, we might have an issue. We'll find out. Okay, folks, I think what we'll do, maybe we'll hire a worker on the planter here, and we could go do a couple other things. Off screen, I was busy working on the animals. We finished uh, bailing on uh, field. Actually, it doesn't have a number. Down by the main farm there. We finished bailing that there last episode. Uh, tried wrapping one with silage. Uh, unfortunately, the cat trailer did not pick up that silage bale. Uh, I did try buying one of the uh, Flegel trailers. Uh, unfortunately, that trailer did not pick up the bale either, so ended up transporting a whole load of unwrapped bales, just you know, normal bales. Transport them down by the cows there, and wrapped a couple of, a couple of them up there. Uh, put down a placeable mixing station, so we do have a mixing station. Actually, you know what? You folks can see it actually up there. Mixing station uh, has one percent mixed rations in it, so our cows should be somewhat happy at the moment. Uh, I didn't do everything the cows needed because I wanted to save it for this episode. So let's, like I said, we'll just hire a worker here. And let's head over. I don't think I put this in a group. I did not. Let's see. Let's put him in group 8. So yes, I bought the uh, JCB skid steer. Figured like a good choice for hauling bales around. And I got the pallet forks. Let's see. What, uh... I think that's really like the only good bale handling for the uh, JCB, in my opinion. Uh, you got this bale spike here. That's kind of more like for round bales. So it's like, what do you use for square bales? So yeah, I just bought the pallet fork. You know, the way uh, farming sim mechanics work, that is actually one of the best uh, bale, at least for square bales anyway, one of the better bale handling tools out there. So yes, as you can see, we have a couple stacks of square bales here. Uh, I did make some silage bales. We got, uh, what do we got, four of them here yet. Now I have not tried, oh, quality C, wow. Uh, I have not tried picking these up. I don't know if the trailer will pick them up now that they're actually finished silage bales. I should really try that. Maybe it'll pick them up now. But yeah, unfortunately, I tried, like you seen last episode, folks, I tried the cat trailer. It did not pick them up. So I bought the uh, Flegel trailer. The uh, auto-loading Flegel trailer here. Let's see, is it under... I think it's under bailing technology. Yes, I bought... I think it was actually this one right here. Uh, it would not load the silage bales either. And I did not feel like buying the large in-game trailer to see if that would work. So, we just transport them over that way and we'll uh, wrap them as we need them, I guess. So anyway, this episode, like I said, we'll uh, do a little more work with animals here. I did bring them some of what they needed. We do need to finish filling the mix station, I think. So let's see, we need some more silage bales. Wow, it's gone through a lot of silage already. Because I put in... Oh, how many bales did I put in? I put in quite a few bales in here already. I figured we put uh, two, three more bales and it'd be good, but that doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And yeah, folks, uh, off screen there, I was kind of deciding, like, what shall I get for bale handling? It's like, well, one of the most common tools we see in the, at least where I live, again, in the U.S., it's a skid steer. Or sometimes uh, also known as a bobcat. Just because a uh, bobcat makes a lot of uh, skid steers. 
Sometimes they're commonly referred to Bobcats, even when they're not the uh, Bobcat brand. Okay, let's just see what's where we're at here. Oh, we need a few more yet. Okay. It's uh, 4,000 per bale, I believe. Let's see. Can I reach across here and pick these up? Find out. Yeah, close enough, I guess. And yeah, surprisingly, it seems to handle two bales at a time okay. I was a little concerned about it, but uh, it's handling it, so that's good. You know, it's amazing what a little machine like this can actually pick up. And not, I'm not just talking in-game, folks, but just uh, in real life, too. Uh, when you look at these things, they're not really that big. I mean, they're fairly good-sized, but they're not, like, super big. And for what they can pick up, it's like, wow. Very, uh, very versatile, handy little machine. And yeah, folks, when I put this... Oh, it must be full. Uh, when I put this down... You know, I think we'll just maybe try to dump this right here. <laughs> Hopefully it'll take it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I'd do with this bale. You know, I guess I can pick it back up. Because it's sitting on top of the forks there. We can pick it back up here. And we'll just throw it back on top of the stack, I guess. There we go. But yeah, when I placed this mixing station down, I just like put one bale of each in it. Because I wasn't entirely sure if this is where it took mixed rations. But apparently it does take mixed rations here, so that's good. And we'll probably need some more straw bales. I might have to go grab some more straw bales here. I'm not sure if I have enough or not. Also, it took me quite a while to figure out where to feed straw to the cows. I was kind of uh, looking around the building there because like a lot of places, or a lot of maps, it's in the buildings or around the buildings. Well, on this map here, it's by this uh, trough here. So we'll just spread the bale. Oh, is that really? That's all they're going to take. Okay. I put uh, a couple bales here already, so that might be all they need. Uh, farm silo is empty. Okay, let's make sure we tell him to continue driving then. Drive now. And yeah, we'll probably have pretty close to a million dollars when we're done selling this. And if we sell the barley, uh, we should be able to get probably at least another half a million or so out of the barley, I would think. That should definitely give us enough to buy Field 6. Okay, we'll take this bale to the mixing station. And I might have to make some more silage bales here, too. Let's see, do I have the wrapper over here yet? I do, yes. Sitting on the other side of the uh, stack of bales there. Whoa, that was a quick turn. I wasn't expecting to turn that quick. And then, yeah, too, when I was feeding the straw, it's like I tried around all these uh, rain feeders here. It's like, well, there's straw in there. And there's one over there. Nope, doesn't take straw there. So yeah, it took me a while to find out where to uh, give the cows straw. And I did have a developer mode on so I could see the triggers. And that's why I noticed, oh, there's a trigger here, and it's a large one. So it's like, I bet you that's one for straw then. And turns out it was. And I believe, I haven't looked yet, folks. I think we need to give the cows water on this map as well. Uh, we can look right now once. Animals. Oh, they doesn't list water, does it? Oh, it does. There it is. Okay. I thought so. So there's water there. 
And let's see, the... I did bring some stuff for the horses. They have silage, they have straw, uh, mixed rations. Uh, what I'm thinking, we'll probably maybe like move the pipe out from away from the trough there, and then the um, mixing station there will actually make some, and we can pick it up. Oh, they do need grain too. Okay, I'll have to remember that. We can maybe give them some of the oddball grain that uh, we have in our silos. Like some of the canola. I don't, yeah, they probably won't take potatoes and sugar beets. Oh, I guess that's all the uh, oddball grain we thought. I thought I had more than that, but I guess just canola at the moment. See if they'll uh, take that. Oh, oh. There we go. Out of the way, cow. Coming through. And yeah, I don't know if you folks saw that a couple minutes ago, but there was a cow inside the stack of bales there. I don't know if it's still in there or not, but uh, you could see like the back of it sticking up through the bales. That was kind of funny. Yeah, we're definitely going through the straw here. Oh, missed it. And yeah, folks, like I said, I found this to be one of the uh, better tools for handling the bales here, this pallet fork. Even for uh, front loader tractors, telehandlers, the uh, pallet forks work pretty good. Uh, for one thing, they tend to have a little bit higher back on them here, so that works good for uh, supporting the bale. Okay, straw, one more. Uh, we could probably do two more bales. Two more bales should do it. Probably waste just a little bit of one bale, but that should be fine. We got quite a few straw bales, folks. We got actually we got a lot of straw bales. We probably still got uh, 200 and uh, at least 200 left. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how many bales I had here, but yeah, we got we definitely have a lot of straw bales. Should have probably really hung on to the uh, flag. I'll trailer. See what's if I would have picked up these bales now that they're finished. I just wonder if because there's some sort of mutant bale while they're fermenting there, it doesn't want to pick them up. But maybe now that they're done being fermented, it will pick them up. I'm not sure. I'll have to try it. For those of you who watched the uh, Sosnovka series, we had the Mikhail wrapper, and the in-game bale wagon would pick them up. But I don't know if there's a difference between the bale that the Mikhail makes and the one that the uh, Converlin here makes. There we go. How many more bales we need? Oh, we need a few more. Probably about uh, five or so. Plus, we might need some for the other animals as well. Okay, let's put this in work mode. Yeah, unfortunately, it would have been nice to be able to wrap them in the field as opposed to doing it this way. Oh, folks, can you see that? There's a cow in there. If I zoom in, see it sticking out through the bales. That's kind of funny. And yeah, unfortunately, I found out you can't just kind of sit in one spot and unload these. 
bales just kind of pile up, get stuck to each other, and they start uh, doing weird things. Okay, you're done. I'm just going to stop. I'll actually back you up a little bit. And we'll just uh, shut you off. Like I said, once it rolls over to 1800, we will start selling barley. So actually, we can switch that over. Yes, barley. I'm going to have to wait for these bales to ferment too, aren't I? Oh, there's part of a cow. Okay, we'll stop you. And you to wheat. Or not wheat, barley. Oops, went past it. To barley. And we'll shut you off for the moment. Anyway, with animals needing water, we'll need some sort of water trailer here. Not sure. Oh, I do have the universal tanks. That'd probably work pretty good. Uh, 10,000. Yeah, we could probably get like this one or something. That'd work pretty good. Uh, obviously, we got a couple trucks that we could pull it with, so that should work. Maybe look at getting one of those. Oh, there the Kenworth K100 finally comes rolling in. It's definitely by far the uh, slowest truck we have. Let's see, you're still working yet? Excellent. Don't know why, folks, but uh, this uh, tractor suddenly stopped planting here on field two. Uh, still had seeds in it, just stopped. Don't know why. Not a clue as to why, just suddenly stopped. So... Better check up on him every now and then. Uh, the, the tractor was still going up and down the field yet. It just, the, the planter stopped planting. So it wasn't that the hired worker stopped. It's the fact that he stopped planting. Don't know why. Like I said, still had seeds yet. Because up in Glance Mod, it said uh, the tractor was finished. It's like, okay, good. Went and checked. Yep, he's at the end of the field. Wait a minute. There's like uh, half a dozen rows here that have not been planted. And he's still got seed yet, so don't know what happened. I uh, had to restart in there. He finished up. And I believe the finish of the field is complete now. Oh, Kenworth K100 is in traffic. He finally made it. Okay, stop. Switch you to barley as well. And we'll shut you off. Okay, what do we have? Six of them there. Ah, we'll see if we can make up these last two here a minute. Like I said, it would have been much easier to wrap these in the field, I think. Unfortunately, nothing seemed to want to pick them up, so...
Okay, like I said, we'll make that the last one there. And let's go buy that trailer him here a moment. Debating, should we get this one or that one? This one we can pull with a tractor, obviously. Uh, we do have to head down to the other animal area if we want to do those animals, so I think we should probably get this one. That way we can pull it with a truck. Oh, we can get that. Uh, that's kind of pricey, though. I think we might as well get this tank. And let's get it in blue, I'm going to say. I tend to like to color coordinate my trucks if I can. You know, blue for water trucks, yellow for fuel. Even though they can hold all the types if you need to. But if I'm going to be hauling water with it, or at least that's my plan with it, I like to make it blue. Okay, shut that off. Let's grab a truck. That one will do nicely. And let's just reset that tank. Okay, we'll get this filled up with water, and I believe that's over by the cow area here. Yes, this should be where you fill water. Or maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I saw a trigger here when I was looking for where to put the straw for the cows. Okay, perfect. 30,000 liters of water. Don't see no unload animation or hear any sounds. That's kind of unusual. Okay, and we'll head over to the horses here as well. And I'm actually not sure where the horses get water. We'll find out here, I guess. Oh, I bet it's the silo on the side here. Uh, there's a green silo. Typically, there's a blue one. The, the horses do get water, right? Let's find out. Horses. Water, yes. They do have water listed. Let's uh, take a look here a moment. Like I say, green silo, that's usually the grain. Uh, used to seeing a blue silo for water. Oh wait, uh, what do we got here? This kind of looks like water. Now how would I fill that though? Oh, it looks like there's one here too. Okay. Uh, let's find out. See if we drive in here if we get a trigger. Oh, there we go. Refill water. Oh, that didn't take much. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many horses we have. We have... Oh, we have seven. Okay. 
<laughs> Still not very many. We should probably maybe look at buying a couple more horses. A couple more of everything, really, actually. Okay, then we have the beef. Yes, this is the beef over here. On the other side of the milk cows. And we'll figure out where they get water as well, I guess. Don't see nothing outside. Water's not accepted here, okay. Where would they like their water? That is an excellent question from the looks of it. I'm not seeing anything here. We got this funny cement pad here. I don't suppose this is anything, is it? Oh, it is, okay. They want water right there, okay. Not sure why they want water there, but that's what they want. So that's what they get. Anyway, folks, look at that time. Looks like it's time to wrap up the episode. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.